Now this week in robotics, we see a Chinese company coming up with a robot that can be able to swap its own battery, then the robot Gay, which was seen in LA, and also the robot war which is coming tomorrow. The fight is going to happen tomorrow where robots are going to fight each other without having any boxing tools on them like what we saw before. Then Figure also came up with an update that they can now be able to make batteries locally in their factory. So the Chinese company that we're talking about is Ubitech and Ubitech has been in robotics industry for a while. They're one of the biggest company when it comes to robotics. They show their robot worker S being able to swap the battery on its own. So what actually this means is that the robot can be able to work 24 hours without any human assistance and it can be able to switch or to swap its own battery without needing any human assistance. So this means that the robot now can be able to work the entire time without ever going on offline. The only time maybe it can go offline is if it has a system failure or if there's something and maybe people want to maintain it or maybe say you make it go offline because it might overheat or anything close to that. So the way that it works is that the robot has a dual system, dual battery system. And there's an article to this, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can be able to see it. So the robot has a dual battery system and it has a system where it can be able to switch between the batteries and also it has a backup. So the function of the backup is in case this the main battery fails it can be able to switch to the backup and it will continue working just normally to complete the task at hand so once battery a runs out it switches automatically to the second battery then walks close to the uh, the closest swapping station once it reaches the swapping station remember the system is working normally because you already have a second battery in place then it can just go ahead and replace this first battery because the system is working normal it is easy for it to just switch it's just an easy thing like taking an item and placing it somewhere so but it is something incredible and i feel like a lot of robotics company are going to copy this and try to put them in their robots usually people say that chinese companies they copy american companies but i guess this is going to be one of that time where american companies will love to copy chinese companies because this is one of the ideas which you will just see it and it's pretty amazing on its own like it can make sure that now the robot is working continuously at all time a robot like uh, this robot that we all know g1 g1 you can swap the batteries it comes with two batteries and you have to swap them swap the first one if it runs out you'll have to swap out and place the second battery as you charge this other one but now if it comes with this system it means that it will always be able to notice like hey i'm running low once it notices that it's running low it goes and changes the battery it takes out the one which is running low connects it to the charging station it charges as it comes back with a fuller one and it will continue like being around 24 hours so this is something which is pretty incredible Now, if you go to LA, you remember the robot that we did post a few days ago and said to be the first ro gay robot which was walking in the street in LA. And there were some people saying that how comes when you have the first robot walking in the street, people are now labeling it as such or as gay. So the issue with it is because of how the robot is made to look like. Like if you just watch it and the colors it was painted, again, the message is spreading is obvious and you can just see this on your own so most probably the person who owns the robot is probably an activist for the same and that's why they most probably went ahead and did this on the robot so of course this robot has gone crazy it's called Racebot has gone crazy and it looks a lot like a unitary robot so unity has been selling a lot and a lot of units actually they are one of the most dominating companies when it comes to the market share like they've been able to sell a lot of units uh, consumer consumer units that is and for them they chose this type of entertainment more like entertainment feel uh, and it's making a lot of money for them because now they can be able to sell just a robot to anyone not like other companies which are trying to perfect their robots so that they can be able to deploy them in the factories for them they can easily sell out people are buying and at the end of the day it's just what people are using it for fun so if you want to paint it as you want because it is yours you can do anything you want with it and i don't think that unity has a problem at all 
but yes just just goes to show how people are using their robots and this is one way of doing so On the other side, we have figures. So figures, they have been able to release an update and they say that now they can be able to make everything. For them, they want to make entirely everything within their factory and this will be easier and also it will reduce costs for their robots. So they showed a video yesterday which was showing how they are able to assembling the batteries and the batteries were labeled as figure 03 so remember we haven't seen 03 yet if you remember figure used to rely on open ai for the brain of the robot but they went ahead and developed their own helix ai which is like just amazing and has been able to make the robot to be able to do way a lot more stuff right now like it can be able to reason and think and do accomplish a lot so so in short it means that their robot is autonomous as well so once they release these figure 03 versions need to be autonomous that is obvious the robot is going to be autonomous the battery will be built by figure themselves so i don't know if they try to incorporate this idea from worker s where they put in two or more batteries then the robot can be able to swap itself because remember that now the robot is autonomous all you have to do I think he's introduced the, like a code that reminds the robot in case we reach to this percentage, switch to this percentage and walk to this station and swap the battery. I think yeah, maybe they could be able to do it, you never know, but my guess is already they've been working on version 3 and maybe it might be ready or almost like production ready. So, so I'm not sure if they will try to incorporate this or maybe in future versions they can be able to try out this idea as well. You remember there is a time that we had talked about the robot war. So the robot war is about to happen tomorrow. That is 19 July at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. local time in Detroit. The robot war is going to happen. Now we had some people coming out and saying that the robots, in this case, like what we saw in the promotional video, that they look like humans in suits. So I don't know what you think about the same, but for real, if you look at it keenly, it feels like they are humans in a suit but maybe tomorrow what we'll see once the event begins it will be real robots and not humans in a suit but yeah this is supposed to happen tomorrow already you can be able to book you can be able to book if you want to attend the event that is and you watch it if we get to see some things online about this we of course we'll be able to post it i mean more information about this or once the event happens and we gather we get some more information about the same We'll be able to post it and of course we will be able to post everything that will be able to come out from the event so if tomorrow we get a live stream from the event most probably we are going to post it on how the event went down and we'll talk about it how it went down so that is happening tomorrow 5 pm local time that is detroit 19 of july robot was is going down the way they were promoting it they were saying that it will be just robots tearing each other down more like a gladiator event but now for robots like you don't have gloves you don't have anything like how you do in boxing no covering heads like just robots fighting and also they say that these robots are made in detroit but of course what we saw were humans in costume but now as the day comes for the events, I'm pretty sure we are going to see the real robots fighting.